entire episode. Uh, like, I, I'm like, your picture would freeze, and then like it would like catch up and shit. I don't know. We'll ask. We'll ask. Um, we'll ask the chat realm. Uh, was was our picture choppy? Oh no, I think it might just been to me. Oh okay, okay. Yeah. Good. Apparently, somebody already has my uh, Squarespace. Is so Jury I, sings for money. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, I would have to just take a shot in the dark and say, Squarespace, <laughs> you better go to Squarespace, or you will be dead. It. Ah, Squarespace, Squarespace, <laughs> set up your side. Robust hosting so you don't go down in the middle of the night. Hey, Squarespace, Squarespace, use the Twit code today. At checkout, use the code NSFWA. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that, was, that was a hell of a thing, man. <clears throat> Uh well there we go kids Ten, so that's nine. what a degree from Syracuse University will get you um okay so Newhouse School of Journalism Xmas special <laughs> and uh, WA all right we're encoding now uh I gotta I gotta take a little ladies room break or something uh do you want you want to talk to the nice people or you just want me to show I'll them talk themselves? to the nice people right. that'll be fine <clears throat> um uh, wow oh wow I gotta call Santa and tell him how great he did. Yeah, no, call up to the North Pole and say that he was he was very, very, very awesome. Now, listen, I want everybody in the chat room to recognize one very, very important fact. Um, if, if you haven't noticed, there's not a lot that shuts me up, and there's not a lot of... Uh, there's not a lot that can happen where I don't think that I can add something, and that was one of those times where I just cleared out. Clear out the lane. Just let him go. Let Santa go up the floor and destroy it on every on every possession. He was the best. There, I believe in Santa Claus. That's all I can say. Apparently, the stream's frozen. Can you guys hear me? Stream's okay, frozen. you can hear me. What? What? They're saying the stream is okay. All right, we're fine. Okay, we're good. Um, that's good to know. Santa killed it, right, Chatty? Oh. That was amazing. It was. It was. <laughs> I. I. I mean. I. I think I laughed out loud more than once when I wasn't supposed to. Uh. I mean. I'll tell you what. There's. There. It's. It's. It is. Uh, I'm. I'm glad that. Yeah. Santa. Santa's been away from the podcast game for a while. So I think we got. We got a very concentrated version of Santa. Oh yeah. And I. Was, I. I could not be happier. I agree. Uh. That. That he just came out. Uh. Swinging. Um. You know, there's there's really uh there's really not a whole lot more I can say. I, I I thought it was a really good episode. Chad, what'd you think? Dude, I thought it was a great episode. I I, I really can't think of anything that we could have done differently to make it better. Uh <laughs> I mean I uh, all of our props, we all had props, we all I mean uh I mean everything just seemed really polished, you know, to me. And which is odd, because of course right. one of our bits were us trying to slosh through an episode or a version of uh, a version right. of a Christmas Carol. <laughs> right. Yeah, that went really well. I feel like we uh, we nailed it on that end. Like I, I don't know of any does the chat room know of anything that we completely left out? Uh no, I think we, we pretty much hit all the bases. Jekyll's saying that me and uh me and Ace Detect were uh were stepping on each other a little bit, but I think that was that was a lot more about the Skype overlay. Yeah. Uh, we we had we had some major Skype overlay problems, uh, but you know I'll tell you what I think all things considered it was a very funny, um, oh, what's it called a very very funny episode. episode yeah. Uh, so so there we go. Uh, you know I'll tell you, you you know it's a good episode when I have nothing to say afterwards. Right. Right. When you're, you know, yeah. I, I really when there's just nothing to hash out about it other than wow that's a really good episode. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad we went. We went out on a high note for 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 2010. Um, you know, and and I'm glad that people dug it. You know, I think there's a lot of new people that are listening to the show now with the uh, the iTunes thing and everything. So uh, right, fine. Uh, like I feel like we're finally hitting it out of the park with with something after the iTunes. Like Indonesia was good, but but I don't think it was our A game. And I feel like this is our A game. Uh, you know, there was, uh, 
I think the, the 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 thing with Indonesia was that it was just so odd. Like I think it was very very good, but it certainly wasn't a regular show for us. You know, yeah. it was it yeah. was a it was a very very cool show that came together. Um, so I think it, it meant more to people that liked the show than it meant to people who were new to the show. Exactly. Because if you're new to the show and you think like, so what? I, this so, yeah. guy just so travels around and right. you know does the show from a Kinko's every week. Um, <laughs> right. That was that was difficult to. Uh, to have that, I don't. Uh, I mean, I assume Brian's told you that. I mean, it was just, it was just so crazy, and and we we're like, well, why can't we take the Ethernet cable out? And it's like, no, we can't do that. Why can't we get on the Wi-Fi? Sorry, we don't have that. And then there was yeah. no options. You know, it was just insane. Well, that was the funny thing. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the the funny thing about you guys getting the internet together in Indonesia is Brian's like, listen, I got a guy. He says high speed. Super reliable internet, right. no doubt, Boom absolutely on. in the bank. And I'm like, all right, okay, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that didn't uh, quite happen. It was blocks. literally less than a block away from the uh, hotel, um, and I think that the hotel Wi-Fi would have been much better. Uh, well, you know, Brian was saying it was all about the time, right? And that's it's like we, we you really can't, you know put that to chance like because exactly. even if it was good exactly. like 30 minutes before the show you have no guarantee that it's not going to slow down into garbage by the time exactly. the show actually goes exactly uh, and and at the time it seemed like the best option i mean you know and and then when the time by the time we had figured out that it wasn't the best option there was there was no time to abandon ship you know we had to pl plow plow ahead with that um people pointing out that uh Martin Sargent's last appearance on BB Live show is episode 25 in May 2009, which I don't even know why that would matter. I mean, why are we bringing up when Martin I Sargent? Think, I think Brian said that it had been a year. That guy hasn't been on a podcast in fucking like a year. Who gives a shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I think Brian specifically said that he hadn't been on NSFW in a year. He hasn't but, been on NSMW at all, and I hope to keep it Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So, whatever. I don't even know why we're even bringing him up. Uh, Santa. Now, Santa. Whew. Legend. Yeah, man. A goddamn legend. Yeah. That guy. He just destroyed. Yeah. Absolutely fucking murdered Definitely. this show. And uh, I'll tell you what. Santa can come on anytime he wants. You know. Why hasn't it? Why Why was it so long that Santa was until Santa came back? I mean. He's a busy guy. I know. You know? That's true. He's, he's got a lot of drinking and uh, <laughs> yelling and. Bitch killing to do apparently, <laughs> uh, and investing yeah. in coal. Exactly, exactly. A lonely dog geek. I think he has a, a little Christmas song for us. So let's maybe get this thing going. It's loading. <laughs> Okay, I would like to play that, but I cannot control the sound other than to turn it off or on. Oh, do you need me to turn that down? I can uh, try that. Well, if you want to play it. Um, uh, I missed the link. Uh, send it out again. Uh, yeah, hit up uh, uh, sh uh, Scam School Brian in, yeah. in the DM there. Uh, oh, here, let me play Mr. Binch that I made for chat room. This Tonda Gossa, man, uh, he killed it. He wrote a song. And, um, you know, I, I just decided to go ahead and sing a version of it because I thought it was so awesome and I wanted to do something for the chat room. So I co-opted his song and I sang it. And so here it is, ladies and gentlemen, your mean one, Mr. Binch, as written by Tom Nagasa. Hello, chat realm. My name is Justin Robert Young, and I will be singing for you right now. You're a mean one, Mr. Binch, as penned by Tonda Gossa. You're a mean one, Mr. Binch. You fail, sauce on my meal. You're trying to convince us with a personal appeal, Mr. Binch. My suggestion to you is to go E-A-B-D You're a 
monster! Boo this binge! You're such a chat real troll! You must be smoking cat right then will join your rodeo, Mr. Binge! If you were on Bone Earth, well, we'd all tell you to! GTFO! Son of the bench! Down, hands check, hashtag! Go die in a fire in the bottom of Chad's gap, Mr. Bitch! The three words that would best describe you are as follows, and I quote Ho, ho, bitch! It's Christmas time in Uganda. Happy holidays, Chat Realm. There we go. Very so nice. So that's my, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, Sand Tiger. It's Hobo Vag. It's a callback to BB Live show. Um, yeah, Renegade Mike, that's me singing a song written and originally performed by uh, Ton DeGassa. And, uh, you know, he, he had, he had, uh, here's the thing. I was going to just play that one, but uh, he had a, um, he did it on, on, on the guitar. And, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the, the, the best recording of, of of the guitar. You could probably do a better one. So I I didn't want to have it go to waste, and it was running a little late. So I wanted to to do it. So there we go. I, I recorded it. the the piano to it is actually uh, YouTube. That's a YouTube person playing piano that I just sung over, and um, yeah, I did it all through uh, what's it called Wiretap Anywhere or sorry Wiretap Pro. Whatever this is. Hold on. Let me yeah, see. Wiretap Pro, where you can capture the audio from YouTube. Yes, yes. Wiretap yep. Studio, actually. Correct. Is what it's oh, you were uh, right. I use that. Yeah, oh my God. It's the best. Uh, it is. is it Ambrosia Software? They're the best in the yeah. business. Um, and do, well, don't you use that for weird things to capture your audio? I actually just use the plugin that I have for Skype. Uh, I have a, a plugin. Gotcha. Yeah, one of the things Wiretap can do is it can take, it can grab Skype like audio coming through your speakers it can it can capture anything coming through your speakers yes or on your computer like right. basically any program running right um like if itunes is running and your mic is running but you don't want it to capture skype you can do that i would love uh, you know like you know how, like skateboarders get sponsored by like shoe companies and shit like that yeah like i just want to get personally sponsored by ambrosia software like <laughs> i will just... literally wear uh, you know, a, a t-shirt or a hat that says Ambrosia on like, you know, 14 times a year if I can just get their programs for free. <clears throat> I would literally, there's not a lot I wouldn't do, actually. They can name their deal. Someone talk to Ambrosia Software and <laughs> tell them to... Uh, uh, yeah, to apparently uh, uh, Espen's been talking to the folks behind the Crack Crack video. Well, it, it's actually the people... Uh, here, here's here's the funny thing about the cat crack video. Number one, we didn't know it was a commercial this entire time. <laughs> yeah, right. That's amazing. Uh, it was it's actually a commercial, a commercial. and you the know Rover we found Puck. this out because we found the people that actually did it. And by found it out, I mean somebody actually just went to their YouTube channel, uh, which it really wasn't exactly <laughs> a Veronica Mars esque feat to figure out the. Uh, remember what's going on? A <laughs> six Jerry, tell me the funny things. What's that? Uh, I don't know what Ace Detect is talking about. Um, hey, uh, can we get can we get Ace Detect back on here? Yeah. Oh God, please. Uh, I, I called and, and spoke to Santa, and he told me to tell you the uh, hello, and they had a good time. Uh, Santa killed it. Yeah, Santa uh, was freaking. You know, I, I, I what I said. I think while you were going out uh, to tinkle, um, that and then you know more than part of the dynamic of this show is that we both will constantly try and add on to whatever you know the funny bit is right you know and and that's i think what makes us funny is that like i'll put it here and then you'll put it here and then i'll put it here and then you'll put it here right uh and it's it's rare in fact i don't think it's ever happened in bb live show or nsfw uh that we've both just been like Boop, let's just not add anything other than the most basic elements of reading the questions Right. You know, let's just clear the floor and try let's to try to contain our our giggles all over this place. Let's just just we were basically chat realm with microphones. Yes. It was just we were just just read. 
Just do what we need to uh, do. Oh my! I mean, when he was killing it, as awesome as he was, I mean, it was it was. Oh my god, it was so good! It was so good. Um, hang on, I'm uh, I I got Ace Detect on the phone here, but then that version of Skype crashed. So that Lonely Dot Geek DM, uh, he made that song. That's in that DM. Oh, uh, is that something we haven't listened to? No, I, I had loaded it up, but we never got to listen to it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, this one here. People are asking real quick if we should have Martin Sargent on to confirm that he wasn't Santa. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I don't want that guy ever on the show. Well, no, wait, 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 and it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Martin Sargent. He just tweeted out. Apparently, I don't understand who this big uh, this big frustration thing is because. It says here, he just tweeted, I don't understand why everyone keeps tweeting me saying I was Santa on some show called NSFW. Never heard of it. No, it good. wasn't him. And I've never heard of him. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, exactly, right? Now, Santa, Santa was fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, he really was. You know? Uh, Ace Detect, you there, buddy? Oh, wait, your volume's all the way down. Sorry, now you're back. Are you there? Oh, yes. Hey, we have a... Now we I have can a hear sti- myself. We have a still picture of you there, buddy. I hear myself coming back to me. Um, yeah, that's my fault because I'm sending you back to you. Um, What's going on with me? Can, can you turn off your video and then start it again? Maybe that'll fix something. Yeah, yeah. A do 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 do. Hey, uh, major major thank yous and kudos and congratulations because that was that was. Yeah, I, I wish. I wish everyone I actually I could act like everyone doesn't know how little time that we were able to put in everything but I think everyone knows. Um it it's amazing to me how when these things come together. And granted, we have our failures. We have spectacular failures. <sighs> but, yeah, I know. I know. Um But yeah, this was I, not I one. I tried of them. my best. I'm sorry. It, did, it is, didn't work out. This is not um, one of them. This is not one of them. Massive oh, massive my win. God. I I don't know what else I could say, you know, I boofed my lines. Um, I you know, co- I, costume was a wardrobe was a mess. Um, but, uh, I love. Thank God, thank God, you had Santa on to save the show. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to follow him. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, like I was worried about whether or not Santa would be able to uh, follow in the footsteps of the Great Christmas Carol experiment. Experiment. Uh, yeah. I know. I think Santa made everyone forget about the Great Christmas Carol. <laughs> I know the, that was the, the problem. Good way. I think uh, the Christmas Carol was uh, among the finest renditions that we'll ever see. <laughs> uh, it was it was amazing. Uh, I thought that uh, really a uh, few times do you get to see a man put on a tour de force acting, uh, you know, experience like it was uh, rem- reminiscent of Sam Rockwell and Moon. Yes, uh, or or Roddy you, McDowell. You jury as oh, to, I mean, it's, it was uh, hard yeah. to keep it together. I was so tear. <laughs> Jerked. When you told that cripple boy oh. to just kill himself oh. now for your own convenience, <laughs> and like, then you turned around and you wanted, and I gave him a billion dollars. Duck, and I <laughs> bought a duck. Yeah, he bought a, a billion duck dollars. with it. That's a billion you know, dollar duck. It's actually a goose in the actual story, so you weren't very far off. I, yeah. I, what's funny? What's funny is. Uh, me and Justin, we dad. barely remember the story. We only see what we've seen from movies and, and the you know the Scrooge McDuck I version cheating. or whatever. I, I had the book. And then meanwhile, meanwhile, you've read it every single year. You read the whole book. I do. I actually read it. I read Christmas. Christmas Carol is a very short book, uh, and I, I I try to read it every year. I make it through. Okay. Almost. But when 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 do you? Is it like a right after Thanksgiving thing? Or I, you I, wait I, I like usually now? read it like Christmas Eve. Oh, okay. So uh, uh, before we, but I'm trying to avoid, you know, my drunken uncle, and <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading this book. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone wants to, wants you to finish the cat crack story. Okay, yes, so here's the deal, cat crack. Um, it's a one of a is kind. Actually, a, you were you were gonna uh, say is, you were gonna say what I was saying in the chat room. You said you know what's funny about the cat crack story. So right. I was like, oh, yes, please okay. tell me what is funny about that. Here's the funny thing is that we've been doing an ad this entire time. We're playing it over and over and over again as a hilarious viral video, and it's in fact an ad for the Rover Pay As You Go 4G puck. So it's a it's a Wi-Fi spot that runs a four on a 4G network. That's pay as you go, which I think is a, you know, I have, I mean, I, we have no stake in Rover or we have, none of us have gotten the 4G puck as far as I know. Uh, but it, it's a really cool idea because, you know, the annoying thing about doing the Wi-Fi hotspots are that you have to buy like a two year contract. Or whatever. Yes. You, to, you know, basically, uh, you know, get into bed with one of the cell phone companies. So 
if there's something that's super reliable and pay as you go, I think it would definitely be a really cool idea. And the guys who made a series of commercials for that then made with uh, made the cat crack video. So the line that we were never able to figure out is armed with the rover puck. Right. I always thought it was like a robot paw. Yeah. And so, uh, so there we go. Apparently, Espen, who is really NSFW chat realm superstar, super fan, uh, has been going back and forth with Rover. They're aware of the fact that we've blown up the cat crack video. Was it not and, supposed um, to be blown up? Well, they're aware of us. Okay. So apparently they, they know who we are and uh, that Where we've you live. been plugging the shit out of the cat crack video. And they, they said that they're interested in now sponsoring the show, which I think would be a natural. Well, they almost hinted that they that they had already uh, from their tweet stream, and I'm sure somebody will post it in the in the chat room. Uh, well, S- I I, I, I kind of read it as a as a like, well, we are now, like, let's get the wheels moving. So, I mean, who knows? I'm I'm I, I think no matter what, uh, we're happy to have played the the cat crack video because it's hilarious and we love it. And um, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Espen actually wanted to to share some details on it. He was trying to call in, but the on the wrong line. But now I've opened up NSFW Show. So if you want to call in on that, Espen, we'll throw you on here. NSFW Show. Skype right there. Um, S-K-Y-P-E. A lot like of that. people don't realize that Espen uh, is uh, very well versed in uh, Scandinavian culture. He is, because he, he lives there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Espen, talk to us, buddy. Hey, dudes. What's going on, man? Tell us about this uh, ace detective thing you're, you're doing. Uh, basically, uh, I don't know if, if it's actually true, but the thing was that I saw a video on YouTube with an unboxing of the Rover Puck. And then it just hit me. And so I just t- uh, tweeted it, I think. And then Rover started following me. And he, they started following everyone who was... <laughs> talking about the rover puck in the cat crack video. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> dude. So, uh, and then I just went, so you should sponsor NSFW, and uh, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if a jury gets to read about the rover puck in the episode next year. Awesome. I hate, well, uh, thank I'll you. tell you, look at it. Actually, I'm on the rover Twitter it's actually, I mean, and I don't want to chill for them, but you know, their their deal is five dollars a day, twenty dollars a week, fifty dollars a month for unlimited four G internet. Which, like, you know, depending on the signal strength. Wait, how, how much is it? Idea. Five bucks a day, twenty bucks a week, or fifty bucks a month. Jerry, oh what, what area of the country are you in? What? Jer- Justin, what what area of the country are you in? I'm in South Florida. Oh, okay. You probably have WiMAX. Which means you could you could actually use a rover. Oh, really? That's awesome. Uh, which actually, for some of the mobile, uh, for some of the weird things investigates projects, we could definitely use that. Oh my! I mean, this would this would be amazing. A huge. I mean, that's actually exactly what I was thinking. Of it Espen, for. is it WiMAX? I have no idea. It's 4G, <laughs> bro. Okay. It's 4G. All right, was hey, it LTE thanks, or WiMAX? Those are the two 4G flavors. Oh, by the way, but well, you just mentioned LTE, uh, Tom. I. Totally, totally, totally want to give you absolute and total credit for your iPhone on Verizon prediction, which as a listener to Tech News Today, I've I've heard you repeat over and over and over again that it wasn't going to come until LTE rolled it, rolled out. And I totally think you are absolutely correct on that. And you were the first person to say it over and over and over again and to make that point. And I want to give make sure that in the annals of internet history, uh, Tom Merritt gets full and complete credit for that that claim because you put it on the board, and I totally think it's right. Thank thank you, Justin. Uh, you know what? I'm so excited about that. I'm going to light my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just want to say one thing before I go back to watching the show again. Uh, by the way, Tom, your pipe is upside down, but that's not the big point. The point is, oh, what, this uh, everyone... <laughs> is not a pipe. What is it? <laughs> A, this a is a noise. Oh, okay. It's a little uh, art joke. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I got you. Got you. Took me a second. Yeah, uh, but uh, I think uh, everyone should tweet out for Rover and tell them that, you know, NSFW loves them and, and, and stuff like that. And, you know, we should get a sponsorship going. 
Absolutely. You know, and I, I, I like I like the proactive uh, attack you're taking on that. Certainly let let Rover know NSFW is crazy for uh, for Rover Pucks and Cat Crack. Those are the you two know, things you love. Here's the cool thing about doing silly sponsor reads is that now people are looking for more material for us to do silly sponsor reads about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. They're love like, it, like no, we need more. You should have somebody, you know, sing a retarded song or talk about <laughs> genocide on your read. I don't even know. I mean, I would have to just take a shot in the dark and say squarespace.com. <laughs> Dashing through the net, setting up a site. Squarespace.com is gonna save your night before you go and put your content on the web. You better go to Squarespace or you will be dead. (laughs) Ah, Squarespace, Squarespace, (laughs) set up your side. Robust hosting so you don't go down in the middle of the night. Hey, Hey. Squarespace, Squarespace, (laughs) use the twit code today. At checkout, use the code (laughs) NSFWA. Complete with the complete with the wrong code at the end. Hey, thanks so much. Exactly. Yeah. Appreciate hey, it. rhyme rhyme night a few more times, <laughs> idiot. Fucking <laughs> 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 idiot. Uh, yeah, dude. No, seriously, uh, Tom. Freaking freaking awesome job. Thank you a million times over. Uh, do, hey, uh, Justin, do you want to? We got to get this thing to Tony for um. For the banked episode, do you just want to do the opening in public, or is that a secret thing with you and me? No, I don't know. I mean, we're just we're we're we're, we're gonna throw to the Rooker thing, right? Yeah, but but we were gonna kind of set up. We we're gonna do a little bit of of talking because everyone who hung out for the after show has already seen that. You know, they saw that all happen live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want? So uh, we should probably do it in private so people actually download the episode. Right? Yeah, because those are the same people that'll be here again right now. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Just exactly. do it, but do this. <laughs> Just yeah. do that. Like y'all, y'all can't see. Sorry, boss. That's yeah, private. Does it move? Um. Well, Tom, do you want to hang out and help us we'll do a real quick thing, or do you got to go? No, I can hang out. All right. No, that'll be fun. Are, are you, or was that a hint? No, 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 no. no like no, like no, what no. we'll do I is we're, like, we're, we're gonna shut down. Hook. We're gonna shut down the after show. It's been lovely, but we have a little more work we have to do. We're gonna close the curtain. We're gonna make some more sausage. And then we're going to uh, send it out to you guys. Yeah, it's a sausage party. Uh, admit, and again, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who, uh, first of all, everyone who, who pitched in to buy you a giant surrogate penis. Uh, congratulations. Oh, Dark, wait, hold on. Long yeah, way. wait, hold on, Brian. I couldn't, I couldn't hear you, you know, over my... <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, and thank you also to to the people who work so hard: Patrick Delahanty, T two T two, Cheeto, uh, uh, Adam Twelve, all the people who who every uh, you know don't you're gonna get me started. I can't stop. Crash Kincaid, um, uh, everyone who's codified Chat Realm into what it John is. John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> He's on the nice list, apparently. It's all those clowns he draws. Uh, but but, uh, but uh, thank you, guys. Uh, think about where we were a year ago and look how amazing everything is now. I mean, freaking, freaking iTunes awards. They, they, that's awesome. All right. Anyway, so long. Yeah, we people. actually, you know, I'll tell you, and just, just real quick, that on top of that, uh, I was very, very serious when in, in, the, in the thing you guys have really made you know a a a dream of mine come true specifically this year uh and and i really can't thank you guys enough and as much as you know we always joke around because obviously it's it's a funny comedy show but uh i i really 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 do mean it you guys mean the world to me and and we're gonna only get bigger and more awesomer on nsfwa uh next year so uh so so rock and roll this is that uh Everyone in the chat room asked me to see. This is a new DJ Z. Such and such.